Chappers, appreciate you talking to us. How do you assess that one? Yeah, it was a good afternoon. Um, really pleasing afternoon, obviously three points. Uh, good performance, I thought, off the ball, on the ball, I thought we were really good. Uh, bang at it on a tough afternoon in terms of conditions as well. So, um, yeah, it was pleasing. Uh, everyone's looking forward to Tuesday now. Saw some really passionate scenes from you after the first goal and off, after you scored, of course. What, how do you assess all three goals, though, this afternoon? Yeah, obviously the first one, I think, is massive for us in, in games. Um, mm. It's just a bit of relief when you score that early. I think it's obviously teams have to open up. Um, can be tough at times, especially in that condition. So we spoke about a fast start. So it was pleasing to um, definitely pleasing to get that first and foremost. And after my goal, I think it's just a bit of relief to get the first one in the season. is always mm. the uh, always the best one. I don't know why. Just a uh, little bit of weight off your shoulder, waiting waiting for for your goal, waiting for the tally. So um, yeah, really pleased with that. Talk us through uh, the move for your goal as well. JD, of course, a threat all afternoon. I thought JD was. Brilliant today. Mm. Probably the the best game he's had since I've since I've been playing with him. Certainly, um, we've had a couple of times we've had sort of goals like that with his cutback. So um, that's pleasing. Obviously, that's something we work on a lot as well in terms of that relationship on the right hand side. JD's probably not your your standard centre half. He's obviously very attacking. Mm. Um, gives off a massive outlet. So um, that's pleasing as well. Wes done so well, uh, so well. He was sort of in the corner. So I don't remember too much before the build up. Um, and as soon as it's in JD in that position, I um, trust him to, to look up and find me, and that's exactly what he's done. The manager said as well, it's great to see goals coming from all over the pitch. How important do you think that is for this team? Yeah, I think it's huge. Uh, it's huge. It's probably something we struggled with last year, um, and I think we've got that straight away sort of this year. I think that's we're on made that continue as well, because it's not easy. Um, people sort of breaking their necks to get in the box, which is something we've spoken about. Um, and then on the flip side, when maybe they pop out a little bit of pressure with breaking our necks to help our teammates to cover the yards for each other. I think that's mm. something that if you've got that going either way, you're, you're sort of trying to get up to something good. How did you cope with the heat this afternoon? Yeah, it was tough. Uh, it was tough, but look, we've trained on, I don't know, probably when you, when you have afternoons like that, you think back to the hottest Wednesday and the hottest day we've ever had. Uh, we were training in sort of the prime midday sun at 35 or whatever it was that day. Um, and I think we remember saying it then, that's probably our hardest day of pre-season. Um, a lot of teams would have been off on the Wednesday or training early, training late. Um, I think that's something that we're trying to get in terms of the, in terms of the club culture this season. Mm. Um, make sure we've got no excuses, the heat, pitches, it's the same for everyone. So as long as we can adapt and, and be sort of the best version of us in terms of whatever condition it is, I think it's it showed today. One of the main things that the boss highlighted was your work off the ball. and. That stretched the whole afternoon, didn't it? I think I remember Caden chasing the ball down 90th minute, you know, 3 0. The attitude from you boys seems to be right at it at the moment. Is that something that you're feeling? Yeah, like I say, I touched on the culture there. That's something that we really want to sort of lock in this season. Um, ever since the boss is on I mean, it, he's demands so much of us in terms of that, and it's brilliant. Um, we have a lot of expectation in terms of we put on ourselves. Um, and that pressure that we put on ourselves is, is off the ball, not just on the ball. I think yeah. we can play nice stuff, um, we can penetrate, we can play short, we can be in pockets. But I think as soon as you've got the other side of it as well, when you're out of possession, I think you're on something really good, like I said. so, And that's not just the starting eleven. that's people that are starting, people that are coming on, uh, sort of pass it back and over and run for each other, and cover for each other. I know you've already just finished this game and you, you enjoy the three points. How's it set you up for, for Tuesday and heading into that one? Well, yeah, not much time to, not much time or reason to enjoy. Really, I think you need to look at Tuesday straight away, um, straight after the game. Sort of recovery starts now. Um, all eyes on to Tuesday, and that's that's another thing as well. You pick up a win, but it's in the third game of the season. It's three points. It's no yeah. more important than any other three points. So that's why we're looking up to Tuesday straight away. Um, and everyone's really excited for that. Well played, Chappers.